I love SSDs. Stands for snake skin. Um, snake skin drive. Snake skin. <laughs> snake skin drive. Yeah. Drive made out of snake skin. Snake skin. You know, because snakes are fast. They don't look so fast, but man, if you piss off a snake, whew, snake skin drive. They can hit relativistic speeds. <laughs> Relatively speaking. Relativistically. This is what ends when you make nine videos in a row when you haven't slept in three days. Kingston SSD. Oh, what's it, which one did I have? The HyperX. 240 gig. We have the box anywhere? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll go get it. <laughs> Has it got stuff in it? Yep. Hey! Oh, you got to mention there's different kits available. Right. This is like the loaded full kit that comes with the mounting bracket and the and the USB enclosure. Oh yeah, you got to show the USB enclosure. I show all that stuff. All right, I've got my hands on a 240 gigabyte Kingston a HyperX 3K. This thing is so awesome. So let's just talk about what it's using right now. It's using um, Intel synchronous NAND. Um, now it's uh, the 3K, which is really really nice because they they estimate the lifespan on this is going to be around eight years. So that's going to be more than enough for most people. Uh, extremely durable. They, they put a lot into this thing. They say on the box 550 read and 510 write. That's megabytes per second. Forgot what the IOPS were. OCZ Vertex 4 just destroys it as far as IOPS go, but this is faster in the real world so far. It really is. All right, Sandforce controller. Tried and true. Good old Sandforce controller. One, th one other thing I want to mention about this is that it's, uh, it's really, really efficient. I, I can see people using this in a, in, a, uh, in a laptop just fine. It uses like less than uh, less than two watts of power on load or when it's um, writing and reading. Really awesome. All right, let's just get into the benchmarks. We benchmarked ourselves using Addo. The write speed that we got using Addo is 540.474 megabytes per second. The read speed is 519.971 megabytes per second. Compare that to the Vertex 4. Uh, we only have the 128 gigabyte Vertex 4. The Vertex 4s get faster as you go up. You know, once you get to the five, um, was it 500? Uh, um, yeah, the 512 gig is yeah, supposedly. 512 gig is like almost yeah. the same speed as this, but not quite. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. But we got the 128 gigabyte version. The write speed on that one's only 205, but the read speed on that one is 498.256. Now, if you've got a 256 um, gigabyte drive, the write speed is 380. If you have the uh, 512 gigabyte drive, like we were just talking about. The write speed on the Vertex 4 is 475. But still, this thing is just ridiculous. All right. <clears throat> also, we benchmarked the Vertex 3 because that's what you're using in your system. The Vertex 3 Max IOPS. The Max IOPS, which is just ridiculous. The IOPS on that thing are... Well, even the, Ver the Vertex 4 is like 120,000 uh, yeah. Max IOPS. Yeah, max. the Vertex 4 has got more IOPS than the Vertex 3, but the Vertex 3 beats it in raw throughput. Yeah. So, well, anyway, that one, um, the Vertex 3 that we benchmarked, how big is yours? yours is, uh, uh, 256 gig, or okay. 240, or the, the one that's 2-something gig. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we benchmarked that one at um, 515 write and uh, 535 read. So that one's pretty nice using Addo. Um, oh, yeah, let's show you what comes in here. And then I'll tell you what we did with our real-world tests. But you're, gonna, you're really going to want to know the real-world test. We did a Windows start test, and we also did a test going from nothing into Skyrim and loading up the game. So inside here, we've got um, ah, come out of there. Mounting screws, of course. We also have a little mounting bracket. Um, one thing that's nice about the mounting bracket is the, uh, the drive does not center itself. It goes off to the side, so it'll be lined up exactly the way your hard drives are lined up with the power and the uh, SATA. If you get a Corsair case like what yours is, it lines mm -hmm. up with the, with the sleds. Yeah, it'll line up with the sleds so you can slide it in and use it in like yeah. a server type situation. So that's really nice. So here we have a, a nice brushed aluminum USB 2.0 external case for the drive with USB cable. And then there's our uh, SATA 3 cable, 6 gigabit. Come out of there. Is that a pin? Why, no, it's not. That is a uh, screwdriver. Just got to take it apart somehow. And this thing screws off here. And then you put the serum in it. Okay, all kinds of different heads there on the screwdriver. So this is the full kit. It costs a little bit of extra money. Just get a lot extra with it. It's very snazzy, I think. If you just want the drive and you just want the drive to be internal, then don't worry about the kit. You can get the drive by itself, save a little bit of money. It's still ridiculously fast. Let's talk about how fast it is in the real world. Like I said, we did some real world performance tests. 
Hope the stat is okay, guys. I'm sleepy. And then we still got to go watch Game of Thrones. I can't go to bed for a while. Stop uh, complaining. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. There's no words on it. Do it live. <laughs> Don't make me replace you with CGI. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. Okay. Um. Now we benchmark this thing. Where the hell is that? Oh, there it is. Yes. <laughs> In the real world, we benchmark this against the new Raptor. That's 10,000 RPM mechanical drive. Uh, we put it up against the uh, OCZ Vertex 4. And then, of course, we've got the Kingston HyperX 3K. So starting with the Raptor, um, from nothing into, uh, into Windows, 118 seconds. Now the, um, yeah, that's not very good at all. OCZ, the Vertex 4, 23 seconds. And the Kingston HyperX 3K, 23 seconds as well. So not bad going into Windows on the two SSDs. Now we loaded up Skyrim, and the time it took from loading Skyrim until we got into the game where you could actually play. Windows was spamming the enter key just, you know, to make the game load. So from nothing to being in the game with the dragons flying around and everything going crazy, Western Digital Raptor, Raptor 25 seconds. OCZ Vertex 4, 21 seconds. Kingston HyperX 3K, 19 seconds. So real-world performance, very similar between the Vertex 4 and the uh, Kingston HyperX 3K. They're both really amazing drives. I mean, I mean, I could almost say, like, if you see either one of them at a good price, grab it. If you're going for a smaller size drive, the Kingston is really the way to go. The only thing that even competes with the Kingston, there's a Samsung out there that competes. I forget the model number. And there's an Intel out there that competes as well. What's the model number? I think I wrote the Intel down. Oh, yeah, the 520. The series, yeah, the, the Intel Series 520 does compete with the uh, HyperX, and it's faster in some benchmarks. But um, We've also seen the 128 gig HyperX for 140 so that's a hell of a deal. Yeah, yeah, that's what I included on the $1,000 PC build, because the Kingston HyperX, I mean, they're, they're using really, really good... Um, Stand Force is tried and true. I like it a lot, even though, uh, you know, Vertex 4 is now using Indie Links. Oh, yeah, that's Everest right. Everest 2. Yeah, got their own firmware now, not using Sanfros anymore. So there's, there's, you know, the market's kind of differentiating. For right now, my money is with the Kingston. It's my uh, SSD of choice this generation. See you guys next time.